All right, everybody. If you own a Jackson Cuda, you know what this is. This is the center hatch. And for some people, I'm sure I'm not alone, reaching this front latch can be a little bit tough out on the water. And, you know, who wants to, to slide forward, unlatch it, get your, your peanut butter and jelly out, and snap it back and all that, and then you, you kind of lose a little functionality of this cover with the constantly having to unsnap it. Now, you've probably seen the mod where people cut right here. They put a piano hinge. And, yeah, that's going to give you, you know, 10 inches worth of, of open hatch. Now, most things you're going to be able to get out of there, but me... I didn't want to cut this. You know, this is a new boat. I don't want to cut this yet, unless I unless I absolutely have to. So I came up with an idea that I think is really going to prove to be very helpful for those of you out there who don't have a lot of time to do mods on your boat, but yet want to get better functionality out of your cover. And here's how it works. You know, before you go out on the water, let's go ahead and unsnap that. That's going to expose or a little mod here. Now as you can see this is a little long but I actually prefer to leave it long that way I've got some adjustability if need be and it's going to be a little less likely to pull out. Now I may trim this at some point but for demonstration purposes it actually may be better to have a little bit of length so everybody can see what I'm doing here. So with with the original snap unsnapped that leaves us with this and what that allows us to do unsnap this guy, get it out of the way, is this. It's going to give you a flexible but yet secure way of attaching your hatch while still gaining access to the hatch but yet keeping this end tight so that really all you have to do is unsnap that. Okay. Now for a little bit more of a up close and personal demonstration. I've got the original here. I'll show you how to attach this in just a minute. But you've got your original set up here. Just unsnap that. Get it out of the way. And then you have your flexible attachment here. I really think this is going to work well. We're going to go through some short steps on how to do this and uh, hopefully make your hatch a little bit more functional out on the water a little bit easier to access and yeah that's about it so let's see what this takes to do okay for those of you who have a CUDA you're very familiar with this piece this is what comes with the boat this goes on the uh, the left side of the boat this is where it attaches to the cover uh, pretty simply with a screw. Can't get much simpler than that. When it's on the boat it looks like this. This guy holds it down to the cover so that this doesn't flop all over the place. This is the other side of the OE setup. Pretty straightforward. Clip. Uh, snaps into here. Bam bam. Tight. You're done. Now here's where we get into the mod. Take Get yourself a piece of flat bungee. Um, you can find these at auto parts stores. Uh, I looked at my local home building supply store, if you will. They didn't have the flat ones. The flat ones is, is where it's at. You need the flat one in order to get this to work right. So you've got this. Go to camping store. You know, There's a few of them out there. A eh, couple bucks. Get yourself one of these. It may come with some nylon webbing. Cut it off. You don't need the webbing. All you need is this guy. Pretty straightforward. Snap, you're done. We've got a little zip tie here. This will come in later. All right. So what you want to do is you want to take this side. You want to take your your bungee cord, roll over the end. I'm by no means a, a seamstress, but it doesn't really matter. You want to double over the bungee cord onto itself. Throw some stitches in there. Just trying to fatten this piece up a little bit. And the reason you want to fatten it up is this. You take the end of your bungee, feed it through there, pull it, and what you want is you want it to, to catch on here, just not pull through. And it seats in there pretty nicely, actually. Then we're going to take it and flip it over. 
going to take this mounting tie down feed your thing through there all right cool that'll just help keep it you know together make it look a lot neater and then we're going to take this guy maybe take this guy and feed the bungee up and through feed the bungee through as you can see it's adjustable so if you want your cover on tight you can make it tight if your bungee cord starts to fail a little bit you can tighten it up if you need to loosen it up if it's too tight for you well, there you go it couldn't be much simpler um, this is actually where I would put this zip tie on right here just to help as a retainer to keep this from flopping around obviously I forgot to put it on but that's the magic of a zip tie doesn't really matter you can always get another one well let's bring him back for a second you can see I kind of squared up the edges a little bit just to allow it to slide over it a little bit better looks neater stays where it is alright got rid of him then what you want to do is now that you've got this together uh, you may have to cut off some of the excess here you more than likely will have to um, got this together so let's take this and set it over there that brings us to this um, in order to get this to come apart a lot easier I would suggest coming to the end and uh, when you get it from Jackson it's going to be folded over and sewn that's nice you know it keeps things from sliding off but it makes it a really big pain in the butt to try to get it apart so cut that off take a lighter you know melt the end so that it doesn't fray let's pull that apart pull this apart all right cool now and just in case you get confused this only goes on one way this is allow the screw to sit down inside of it so don't put it on upside down then you'll have the screw protruding and it'll, it'll look messy we're trying to make this look you know, we're we'll trying to make this look good. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to take the other half of your store-bought clip and just simply loop it through. Loop this through. It's just going just gonna to slide on there. And that's fine because the original clip, this side, is actually going to do all the work. So we run it up through, round, down, Go ahead and uh, if you can, this is where it gets a little tricky. I might have to pause the video if I'm going to. Okay, what I did is I, I fibbed a little bit. I'm not going to run the webbing back through here. It's just going to take too much time and effort and really not warrant that much of an effect. So I took the extra webbing and just ran it back through this stock little thing here. It's going to keep the 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 nylon where we need it to be as you can see this this is the the newly added clip just slides around on there kind of floats out of sight out of mind in reality it's going to sit right underneath the original one nice and, and and good and the reason that I offset this with you know it could have easily have put it on this side but this is going to decrease the amount of confusion it's going to be pretty straightforward you know you've got that one there and that one there you've got there's your solid hard connection and there is your flexible connection now you can see this guy just kinda seats up against that and uses this as its stop now like I said it's going to take you just a couple of minutes do a little bit of sewing do a little bit of cutting mind you when you cut these take a lighter or something and just just burn the edges so that again it doesn't fray As you can see I've got a little bit of a fray there so take our handy dandy lighter melt it a little bit tap it down on there now you're probably going to get burned but my skin is eh, pretty tough I guess so you know if it does get a little too hot for you put a little bit of spit on there get it so that it's nice and flat you know you don't want that fraying and looking like crap and that's pretty much it you know it's 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 functional it's very lumberjack-esque I guess you could say but but at the end of the day it works and it's really simple you don't have to cut your cover you don't have to compromise anything and 
you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out on the water, but I can't see any reason why it wouldn't work just as well on the water as it does here. Um, hopefully, this this you know proves to be beneficial for you. You know, it's not going to take up a bunch of time, so you ain't going to have the old lady getting after you. You know, oh, what are you doing? You're wasting more time on that boat. You know, you like your boat more than you like me. Well, that's probably true because you know the boat doesn't talk, it doesn't ask you to do things, it doesn't bother you. It's just there whenever you need it to take you out to do what you love most, which is being on the water. And hopefully, this makes your life a little bit easier and allows a little bit more ease of functionality for your hatch. Thanks.